Hi everybody, Mrs. Gorski back. And today what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be talking about true versus false equations. So what exactly are we looking at today? Well, as you can see, I have some number sentences here. I have a number sentence on either side of an equal sign, okay? Some of them are exactly the same as a plus and a plus, but here I have a plus and a minus, and then I have a plus and a plus, okay? So what exactly does it mean when I have to determine if it's true or false by looking at this? Well, I just can't look and guess. I have to put some work into it. So I have to solve for either side of that equal sign. I'm gonna find an answer. Well, then how do I know if it's true or false? It will be true if both answers on either side of that equal sign are exactly the same. If it's false, both answers will be different. So I want to try and keep things a little simple. Since I have my trusty number line up here, I'm going to use that as my special helper today. That's going to be my special math tool that's going to help me solve for each one of these number sentences. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The first one I have is five plus four and four plus four. So let's take a look at five plus four. Um, since looking at it right here, five and a four, they're right next to each other on a number line. I hope you remember what kind of fact that is. That is a near double. And then I have four plus four. You're looking at add-ins, two that are exactly alike, double. So let's solve our five plus four first. So I'm going to start on my five. That is the larger add-end, and I'm going to count on four more. So right here, one, two, three, four. So it's gonna end on a nine. So I have a sum of nine here. And then four plus four, some of you definitely know your double specs already. But if some of us still need some extra help, let's take a look at our number line. So I'm gonna start at my four and I'm gonna count up four more. One, two, three, four. And there I end on my eight. So this is what you're comparing. This is what you're looking at nine versus eight. Are they exactly the same? Nope. Nine and eight are completely different. Nine is more than eight. So if you're looking at them that they are different, it's definitely not gonna be true, is it? It's going to be false. All right, so now let's go to our next one. I have three plus two is equal to 11 minus six. So we can have two different operations, remember. They don't always have to be the same, but I still need to solve for both. So here I have three plus two. Oh, it looks like I have another near double again. So I'm gonna start at my three. I'm gonna hop up two more, one, two. So three plus two is gonna give me five. But now I wanna go ahead and solve for 11 minus six. So I'm not gonna be counting on this time. Let's count back. So I'm gonna start on my 11 and I'm gonna count back six. So here I am, 11, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's ending on a five as well. So look, I'm comparing five and five. Are those numbers exactly the same? Absolutely. So that one is true. So now here's my last one. I have 10 plus three. And then I have eight plus five. So let's start with 10 plus three. I'm gonna start on 10 and I'm gonna add on three more. One, two, three. Oh, I have 13. Now eight plus five. All right, let's start on my eight and I'm gonna count on five more. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I end on 13 again. So I'm looking at 13 versus 13. Are they exactly the same? They sure are. So you're going to be looking at another true equation. So here's the next question. What happens if something is missing and I need to make it true? Because sometimes you might have some missing numbers here. Well, hold tight. 
and we're going to figure that out. Hey, everybody, and we're back. So what we're going to be looking at now is something is missing in these true-false equations, okay? Something is missing, and I need to find that missing part to make each one of them true. I can only determine if they're false, if there is already another part there, and I could determine it that way. But since something is missing, I could kind of try and make it so it will be true. So both answers will be equal, okay? So again, I could be looking at some subtraction, some addition. I'm still gonna be using my number line to help me out here too, okay? So that's really gonna be my big helper today. So what do I need to do first? In order for me to do this, since I do have a whole number sentence that is there, I'm gonna solve for that because that's gonna then help me figure out what I need to put in the missing section in order to make it true. So here we go. So I'm starting with nine minus four. So I'm gonna start using my number line, start on my nine, I'm gonna count back four, one, two, three, four. And my one side is gonna equal five. I had to figure out what am I going to do here to equal five. I can't put five here. I need to put a number here so it's going to equal five. So since I see a six minus, I think I'm going to start on my six and see how many hops I go back to end on a five. I'm looking for a five. So if I'm at a six right now, let's see, will one hop get me to five? I got lucky, it did. So here, it's going to be six minus one, that's gonna get me my five. So now you can see they're true because both answers are five, okay? So here we go. Now let's look at our next one. We have three plus eight. Eight plus three, you know, you could switch them around when you do addition there. So if I want to, I might want to do eight in my brain first and then count on three. Eight, one, two, three. Oh, I'm going to get to 11 here. So now, can't put 11 here. I got to figure out. What am I going to put in this spot that's going to equal this number sentence to be 11? Well, let's see. With the subtraction, I was counting back. With the addition, let's count on and see. I'm going to start at my 7. Let's see how many hops is it going to take me to get to 11. All right. So 7, 1 hop, no, 2 Three, nope, four, oh yeah, there's the number 11. So now I need this true because seven plus four, yeah, that's going to give me 11. Three plus eight is 11. It's true. Both sides of this equation are equal. All right, let's try one more. Okay, so we have nine plus three and six plus what? All right, so nine plus three Let's figure that out. Nine and then three more. One, two, three. So that's going to give me 12. So now I got to figure out six plus what? That's going to give me 12. Some of my mathematicians out there already probably know what the answer is. But for some of us that don't, let's use our number line to help us out. So six plus what is going to give me 12? I'm going to start on my six. How many hops is it going to take to get to 12? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. There's your six. There's your 12. So now it is true because both sides of this equation equal to 12. I figured out what that correct number is. Well, boys and girls, I hope you like our little tutorial today on true and false equations. As I say, I always encourage you to try and practice at home and have a great day. I'll be talking to you all again soon. Bye, everyone.